Ladies and gentlemen, we are live for the Go Home Show for APW versus AVW here in Denver, Colorado. Which is, oddly enough, where Hit the Month 3 is going to be taking place. That's right, you heard it here first, folks, and we have an absolutely jacked and stacked up night of uh, fights for you. Starting off with this, Isaac versus David Styles. The winner will take on Alex Perez at some point in the future for his AVW Chaos Championship. This is going to be a good fight. I mean, Isaac is fresh off the huge win over Alexander last week and was an incredible match. David Styles has put himself together a decent record, but he needs something that'll take him to the upper echelon. This could be that, if he's able to win. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 220 pounds, Isaac. Isaac has had quite a storied career in PBW and AVW. He's a former Open champion. He has been part of the tag team FFF for quite a while now. He's been involved in a lot of factions, a lot of stables. He's broken out as a single star. He's won heavyweight gold elsewhere. He's a true veteran of the ring and still fun to watch. And we can expect a quality opener between him and Dev Souls tonight. from Rochester, New York, weighing in at 220 pounds, David Styles. And here comes David F.N. Styles, a guy who was raised in hardcore environments and wrestling. Learned his craft from there. I mean, those bandages aren't just part of his attire, they're accruing the scars. That he is, um, that he's picked up over the years. Of course, it's not, it's not easy to see anyway, buried under all the tattoos, even less easy to see with all those bandages. We, we can expect a very violent contest between these two. Here we go. Oh, starting right away, Isaac. Both men running at each other, Isaac getting the better of the first exchange there with the elbow. Do a counter there from Styles. Good bulldog from Styles. Kick to the back. Keeping Isaac down right now. Taking advantage early, slamming his head against the mat. Good catch of that clothesline by Styles, turning that into a beautiful neckbreaker. Wonderful execution. 
into a pin just before one noise it kicks out. Isaac first to try and get a uh, try and get a weapon, and he gets a baseball bat. All right to the side of Stahl's head, more on the shoulder area, weakening his arms. They're both men outside. No need to start counting. Default rule of all violence wrestling: all matches are extreme rules. There's no count outs here. Gadget from Styles to get himself back up. And the slams again and again. David Styles trying to keep control, but good counter draw breaker by Isaac. And oh, wonderful swinging kick out DDT by Isaac into the pin. One, two, kick out. Trying to go Isaac to his feet. Isaac meets him with the upcut. Oh, good countered by, uh, sorry, Styles met Isaac with the upcut and Isaac countered that into the reverse DDT. Has him on the ropes, literally here. Present off the other one. The knee to the stomach. And another one. Russian leg sweep. And now quite possibly looking to end it. Maybe looking to set it at the championship winner, but no, Styles back to his feet. Massive clothesline! Uh, trying to open up Isaac with these punches, trying to get the blood flowing. Oh, stray jacket went for a DDT. But Isaac managed to get his arms for an encounter and clothesline styles right over the top. Lifts him up and brilliant gut buster there, trying to take some of the wind out of Styles' sails. Right off the apron. Kick the stomach and a huge DDT and that bus styles open. We have blood for the first time tonight, folks. In the first match. Canterboy styles though. And throws Isaac back in the ring. As the blood pours down from the cut on his forehead. But he doesn't mind that, he's used to this. And the punch. And another one. Just to pick up some momentum and the big clothesline in the corner. Followed by the bulldog. And picking up the baseball that Isaac used on him earlier, clobbering him across the chest. Disposing of the weapon. And trying to decide to pick up something else. He gets a table. Good counter elbow by Styles though as Isaac was trying to get some momentum, trying to get back to his feet. They're going for that stray jacket. Brain buster! And Isaac is bleeding now. Both these men, red, pouring from their faces. Two. Kick out, just about. Styles looking to end this though. It's gonna be the nail in the coffin. A style stunner. And that could be it. One, two, three. David Styles has a future chance at Alex Perez and the Chaos Championship. Hell of an opener between these two. Both men were bleeding. Wasn't a long match, but it was damn fun.
and a well-earned win for Styles. There, that DDT to the to the floor. That that's what busted him open, and that's what busted Isaac open. Dave Styles, hard fought victory there. The blood pouring down his face as he smiles and leers into the camera. Look to that mountain, possibly into championship gold very soon as we move on to the next match. Is a tag team match very important? Uh, High Voltage versus Chris Princess and Flapjack Archer of Fabulous Furious Freaks. Now the winners of this match will take on Silver Bullets at hate to the moment for the AVW Tag Team Championships. Now you have to remember that last time High Voltage fought, it took one tag team venture of theirs to put away their opponents. So they are a viable tag team, however, Flapjack Quadra and Chris Princess have both been around for a long time, they're both dangerous in their own right. They're both more known as single stars, but they're in a faction for a reason. So we're going to see how this goes between these teams. to the ring at a combined weight of 346 pounds Adam Carter and Shane Owen High Voltage and here comes High Voltage Adam Carter and Shane Owen's very exciting tag team very young tag team they've held gold in other promotions I'm sure once again another team who so we're around the Hawker promotion, but they are no strangers to traditional wrestling as well. They're very, very adaptable, very capable in any environment they're thrown in. They just happen to be in AVW right now. They haven't let that deter them though. They've been together a good streak of wins lately. And they're looking to maybe turn that into another one here for the chance to become the number one contenders to the Silver Bullets to AVW Tag Team Championships at Heat of the Moment 3. We'll see where this goes for them. Combined weight of 438 pounds, Flapjack 
Carter and Chris Princess, the fabulous Freebirds. And here come two thirds of the fabulous Furious Freaks, Chris Princess and Flapjack Carter. And neither of these men have held tag team gold here in AVW or PBW yet. Chris Princess is a former international and world champion in PBW. Flapjack Carter, I don't know if he's held a title yet. No, that's... Mm, I, yeah, I believe he was one half, one half of the first ever tag team champions in PBW. Have to do more research on that. Yes, it was Flapjack and Sicario. So interesting. Flapjack, former tag team champion, Princess, former international and world champion, both in PBW, and Flapjack with a good start against Adam. Uh, by the way, Flapjack Carter and Adam Carter, no relation. Just thought I'd point that out. And anyway, we're good knee in the corner by Adam. And, oh, going for an armbar in his corner safely as well. But too soon to really tap. Isaac uh, gets up, punches his way out of it. <coughs> Good catch of the arm. Good side toss by Adam Carter. Control over Flapjack right now. And, oh, try to go for a wrist lock there. Or Hamblock, but Flapjack with the counter and clotheslines him into the corner. And the alley oop bomb looking right into Shane Owen's eyes as they did that too. Now, ooh, looking for a German suplex deadlift style. Gets all of that. Flapjack not afraid to show off his more brutal side. Went for a tag team and if possibly he doesn't get it. And thrown into the corner, the ref's down as High Voltage get the first tag of the match. The double kicks and the wheelbarrow assisted sent on. Beautiful work from High Voltage. Shane. Oh, beautiful gut wrench suplex. Off the ropes. Springboard with that forearm. And... So a double chicken wing uh, drop there. Now working the leg over. Has his knee hooked on the inside of Flapjack's thigh. And wrenching on the ankle. Really st stretches the hamstring and the calf, really does a lot of damage to that area of the body. And the soccer kick to the back. Shane Owens really taking it to Flapjack right now. And the kicks, and one is caught but counters with the knee. And the drop kick as well for good measure. Preventing Flapjack from being able to tag in Chris, but Flapjack rolls out of the way there. Gets behind Shane and, oh, big inverted suplex. And now, <laughs> taking a seat as he watches Shane get up. And the clotheslines, catches the leg, gets the, gets the sweep. Now, oh my goodness. Great for the arm trapped cross face, but Shane owns. Despite taking the amount of punch he did, managed to get out of that. Oh, good work there. Shane Owens ducked under, and I think Adam Carter was looking to pull the rope, but instead he kicked Flapjack Carter back into the ring. So that way he was discombobulated, and Shane clipped him with a pelly kick. Kick to the back by Shane. And... You're countered by Flapjack, showing some life. 
Rush into the corner. And slams him face first. Off the ropes he goes. Big bomb there. Shout out to Vader. And you rest in peace. The chain on the rope. Suplex. Ooh. Bends him off the rope into the Falcon Arrow. Imagine I could drive her. And... Oh, was probably looking for the romp of Faye, but good counter by Shane Owens. And they're looking for that flapjack bomb once again. And, oh, miscommunication there. I think Adam was going to hit flapjack cards, but the ref got in the way. The double foot stop by Flapjack Hart to Shane Owens. And Flapjack finally tags in his partner, Chris Princess. Who's taking time to push her up to the crowd right now. Pays for it though, as Shane pulls the legs out from under him. Snap there by Shane Owens. Kick to the back. Really thinking about tagging in Adam. Throws him off the rope. Knocks him to the outside. Now either of these men could grab a weapon, either of these three men, Adam is more than allowed to get involved in this. Not sure what's happening here exactly. There we go, Adam finally getting involved now. Oh, massive brain buster! High voltage, putting the boots to Chris Princess Flapjack Eye, not bothering to save his uh, friend, his partner rather. And the chops and punches by Chris Princess to Shane Owens. But back suplex, no wheelbarrow face buster. And arm drive by Princess. And thrown right across. And slammed face first onto the announce table. Shane was taken to Princess now, like he was taken to Flapjack moments earlier. Has him draped on the apron. Pulls him halfway out. Maybe looking for a splash. Yes, oh my goodness. Thing is, that does as much damage to Shane's stomach as it does to Chris's. Like, the impact of the apron is still there. Even if there's someone else, uh, someone's body blocking it. Kicked to the stomach by Shane, and Rainbow's to right to the knee, and he tags in his partner Adam Cart. But the rest goes Princess and Carter. Went for a crossbody, but it was tossed aside by Chris. Good counter by Chris Princess. And now, for the extra dirty deeds. One, two, oh, two and a half. Yeah, I think it's worth reminding that I don't think the Fabulous Furious Freaks have a tag team finisher.
Good counter scooping slam there by Adam Carter. Trying to find some life again in this match. As we're back to where we started with these two. Good rolling elbow. Leaping through the air. That was good vertical height there. As opposed to any other kind of height. By Blackjack Carter. As Adam eats a vicious knee from Chris. And now... Oh, wrap the legs around. Good move there. Staying on Adam. But Adam pushes him away. And the running knee right to the stomach. And sunset flip. Power bomb to the outside. And almost had him on the on the barricade that Chris Brooks has counters. Good double chop there by, by uh, Adam. But Chris is staying with him with those counters and throws him right into the corner of the announce desk. Counter by Adam. And Flapjack is free to join much like Shane and Adam was sort of ganging up on Chris earlier. Chris and Flapjack could have the chance right now. And Flapjack is taking it. No. And Adam Carter. Huge satellite style DDT. Got a lot of fight off that. The headlock punches and staying on Adam Carter right now, the clubbing blows to the back. Vicious work by Princess, who does a backflip because he can. Ooh, good sneak behind trip there by Chris Princess. Slamming Adam face first onto the apron. And we have blood from the head, but Chris Princess has busted open. And here we have that case of the Fabulous Three Freaks gang up on Adam Carter and Chris tosses uh, Chris not oh Chris Chris tosses Carter back into the ring. He ducked on that clothesline but was caught by the second one and Adam crawling to his corner tags in Shane. Chris Brooks has thought about tagging Flashback but didn't. You have to question how wise that is. And almost getting the chance there, but wisely rolling out the ring so he won't get stomped. Princess not going for anything, even though he's got Shane in his corner. That's just giving Adam more time to recover. And oh my god! Squeezing Shane's little light bulbs there. Maybe looking for the true purple Rainmaker. There's one half. There's the last. One, two, three. The fabulous Furious Freaks are going to be taking on the Silver Bullets. Isaac and Chris Prince, uh sorry, Flapjack Carter and Chris Princess could be tag team champions soon.
Flapjack Costa and Chris Princess are your winners in this contest. And they could hold tag team gold. Flapjack could be a two-time tag team champion in different divisions. Uh, different brands, rather. Once in PBW, once in AVW. But we move on now. Kalen versus Tiffany Quinn. Now, if my memory serves me, I believe these two are going to be part of the Limitless title matchup that's uh, here to the moment three. Yes, they are. They're going to be two thirds of the, well, two quarters of it. The other two are going to be the champion Marilyn Benson and also Sarah Price. And interestingly, if Kaylin's partner Holly Quinn, uh, Holly Holly Queen, wins later tonight, then the Killer Queens will have a chance at the AV at the Women's Tag Team Championship. Sorry, I can't really like limit them to a brand because they go between. They will have a chance to challenge for those at Heat of the Moment. So it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. Making her way to the ring from Manhattan, New York, the All-American, Caitlin. And here comes Caitlin, one half of the Killer Queens. Now the Killer Queens themselves have had many, many chances at the uh, Women's Tag Team Championships. However, Kaylin is going to be challenging for singles gold, as well as quite possibly tag gold, coming here to the moment three. She is one of the three opponents that Marilyn Pinson picked for here to the moment three. So it's going to be, it's going to be quite interesting to see where this goes. And here comes Tiffany Quinn, one half of the hunt, alongside Belle Florent. A person who came very, very close, actually, to winning that Limitless Championship. If I remember correctly, she got the first pin, so she almost won the match, but then... Marilyn got the only other pin and last pin of that night, so she retained. Could we see the same thing happen to Tiffany Quinn come here to the moment? I don't know, but it's going to be fun. Here we go, Kaylin. Immediately taking it to Holly, uh, Holly Quinn. Tiffany! I keep wanting to say Holly Quinn because of how she looks. Anyway, you know, Tiffany. I almost said Holly. Tiffany. Had Kaylin the trio. Whoa, went for the kick. Good catch by Kaylin. Into that suplex. And Kaylin wrenching on the hand there, on the fingers, and the knee drop rolling off. Vicious technique there from Kaylin. 
Kaelin is taking it to Tiffany right now. Leapfrog. Duck under. And, ooh! Probably went for a double leg takedown, but good counter by Tiffany, turning that into a clothesline. Counter headbutt by Kaelin, though. Arm drag. Lifting Kaelin up. Ooh! The knee right to the face, and now looking. Massive. Massive move there from Tiffany Quinn. I believe that has a name, I just don't remember what it is. And she's going for the pin. One. Not even a one count. I think that one that was the running hay she landed. That um go to sleep into the knee. Could be wrong about that. Good, you're an argue there by Tiffany, though. And the split leg drop. Incredible buff lessism. And Tiffany really, really taking it to Kaylin right now in full control. The knees to the back. Good catch by Kaylin, though. Ooh, Hazard sort of on the ropes there and delivering knees right to the stomach. Right to the ribs and tosses her over. And now Kaelin rolling out the ring. What's she going for? She gets herself a baseball bat. We've seen one of those in use already tonight. But Tiffany goes to take her from her. Didn't really get a chance to use it. Kaelin spun around and kicked her out of her hands. Dumped over the top and Kaelin going to the top rope. Massive knee drop from the top to the outside. That's quite a leap. Now the one night stand. Pensable Tiffany though. Went to deliver more of those vicious kicks, but got caught. Oh, spinning brain buster there by Kaelin. Do a counter kick by Tiffany. People forget how good the height is she can get is... Uh, people forget how good the height is when it comes to her legs. Like, she can get them up really high for kicking. Good drop there by Kaelin though, has Tiffany on the on the rope. And oh knee drop right to the throat. Going for the pin. One, two, just two. Kick to the back. And oh the stumps to the chest. Almost causing Tiffany's head to bounce off that mat over and over again. And another kick to the stomach, and the cross arm neck breaker. Oh, I think Quinn's back hit that baseball bat. Did a little bit of damage to her. And the spinning splash in the corner by Kaylin. The puzzle you're looking for a pin. Excuse me, looking for a pin. Two? No. Oh my god, run hey! One, two, no! But now looking to end it. Oh she was looking for the um for the midsummer dream. Kale encountered it. Ever Quinn still in control. Live that spear a few moments ago, and now with the head slams. One, two.
And fantastic counter from Kalen and the knee slide. Oh, playing possum was Tiffany. Bill Barrow rolls over into the face buster. Now picking up the baseball bat. Oh, right to the stomach. And tossing it to the outside. Going to the top rope. She might have killed him where she, right where she wants her. Now calling her to her feet. And the dragon runs, but Kaylin catches her. Massive power bomb. With the moves from Kaylin there. And I'm looking for the one way stand. Oh, sort of almost dropped Tiffany on the ropes there. And now Kaylin looking to end it. Oh my god, she had, she had the last breath locked in, but Quinn managed to escape it really easily. And now, looking for the running haze again. Gets all of that. And now the Midsummer Dream. But no, <laughs> Kaylin immediately back up. And now looking for the last breath once again. What a weird finish spamming ending this has been. And Kaelin with the win and the extra momentum. Big victory for Kaylin, who was on the back foot for quite a lot of that, but when she found the chance, she took it. Not only to Kaylin, when she tapped out Tiffany. Here is your winner, the All American, Kaitlyn! And now. Big victory for her. Can her partner pick one up later on, though? Is it later on or is it the next match? No, it's later on. I think it's the co-main event. As Alex Perez takes on Johnny Entertainment, the current Chaos Champion, taking on a former number one contender to the Heavyweight Championship. Can't wait to see how this one goes between these two. It's going to be fun. Making his way to the ring from San Jose, California, weighing in at 217 pounds, the ultraviolet extreme champion, the assassin Alex Perez, champion. There is the current AVW Chaos champion, Alex Perez. 
has not dropped that soil or even come close to dropping it since he first won it. Stays firmly around his waist. They're looking to knock off a potential challenger maybe in Johnny Entertainment. And here comes Johnny Entertainment. Also, I'd like to apologize for my weird, heavy breathing. Uh, well, it, it just sounded bloody weird. Anyway, Johnny Entertainment. Yeah, this man won a match to become the no-born contender for that AVW Heavyweight Championship against Ryan Quinn. Didn't really get him far, but hell, Johnny Entertainment is very entertaining. He's the most entertaining man in sports entertainment today. That's a lot of uses of the word entertainment. And Perez taking it to him with a drop kick to the leg. Not wasting any time. Going for a knee, but good counter by Johnny. Big suplex there from Johnny. They're going for the cocky pin. Not even a one count. The ref barely got on his knees to start counting. Over Johnny, still staying on Perez. Now the clubbing blows. And the a couple of press-ups, why not? Oh, counter with that slam there! And the fist drop! Actually got a one count there. Johnny had same with a good, uh, oh, sorry, Perez with a good counter, but clocks. It was clocks with an elbow. As Perez's arm locks up, but Perez's other arm is free and he's, he's able to break out of that. Now the kick to the stomach. Big net breaker from Alex Perez. And Perez, weirdly the first man to go outside and try and get a weapon. What's he going for? He's got a steel chair in hand. <laughs> However, he was clattered right over the head as he was trying to be all tranquilo. And another one right to the face. Vicious chair shots all over the body from Perez. And probably a bad idea to counter that with a headbutt from Johnny. But that elbow was a thing of beauty. And now he's going to the top rope. Massive elbow drop into the into the pin. One, two. Canter up cut by Perez. Tossed aside. And big suplex there by Johnny Entertainment. Now looking to strut his stuff. Cutting a rug as they say. And now going for the one hit. No, going for the backbreaker. I thought it was looking for the one hit wonder. Sorry, all turn road, not one hit wonder. But Perez with the dragon rush. One. No. That's the best shot that Perez has and he only got a one can out of it. He's going for another weapon though. Oh, good, good move there from Press. As he gets a sled, he got a sledgehammer out and super kicks the back of the head. 
Just letting Johnny face first on the apron. Taking Johnny after the barricade, but Johnny breaks out. Good counter. A good counter from Johnny, too. With the elbow, good catch. You see trading counters back and forth now. Uh, Johnny, the first to land more than one shot at the moment. As he slams Perez face first onto the steps. Now, oh, was looking, looking for an axe handle, but got caught with the super kick by Perez. The height he got from that, my God, one. Two. Oh, two and a half. In control right now, Johnny. Oh, ducks under the sling blade. Beautiful technique on that. As Perez has been given a run for his money. One. Oh, just a one count. But now looking to end it. Was looking for the dragon rush, but Johnny countered. Oh, counter from press and Johnny is bleeding as he's clotheslined into the corner. But counters with the double leg. He's going to the outside to get a weapon. And he has himself a table. We saw one earlier but it didn't get used. Are we going to see another one here? And... Oh my god, the old turn road on the outside, and I think the back of Perez's head hit the edge of the table. But Perez seems to be completely fine. And the big neckbreaker following that huge combo moves by Perez. Going for the super kick. A good counter by Johnny who throws Perez face first into the uh, ring post. Johnny Entertainment, baby. And the clothesline in the second. And another one in the corner. Now, one more for good measure. The height off that. Let's press up. Oh! The scissor kick. Into the pin. One. Two. No! They're looking to land it with the old town road. Does go for the pin right away though. That could cost him a couple more seconds. One, two, three. No! Just at the last moment. What an incredible match this is between these two. And the, oh, brain buster. And now taking time to lounge. On the on the turnbuckle there. Going for a pin. One, two. Perez finally gets up, finally shows some signs of life. Massive big boot there. 
bicycle big boot. Got a lot of fighting for that. They're looking for another dragon rush, perhaps. No, going for the dragon sleeper. The dragon slayer. Johnny in the middle of the ring, blood pouring down his face, and he's forced to tap. Oh my goodness. What an incredible contest it was between these two. I was very worried that Perez was going to be finished with that, um, with that ultimate ride. And I would have been surprised because it's a hell of a move. I think if Johnny had gone for the pin right afterwards, he would have gotten it. But Perez just at the last second. And yeah, that's the Pope. That's the ultimate ride to the outside. Perez's head definitely hit the back of that table. If it hit the edge of it. Here is your winner, the assassin, Alex Perez. Alex Perez, the current AVW Cash champion, standing tall, victorious there tonight. Over a former number one contender to the heavyweight championship. Next, yes, the co-main event, Sonia Evans versus Holly Queen. The winning team, uh, sorry, the winner will have their team challenge for the, the, the women's championships at Heat at the Moment 3. Now, Sonia's in with the chance because a couple of weeks ago, I still can't believe this, she beat Akita Tsurashi. I'm still not over that. And uh, Holly Queen... Yeah, she's a very game opponent as well. And uh, the Killer Queens themselves are absolutely fantastic, so let's see where this one goes. I've been saying that a lot tonight, but I don't care. Making her way to the ring from Pearl River, Mississippi, Holly the Queen. And here comes Holly Queen. A woman who most recently challenged for the Limitless Championship didn't come away with the gold. However, she's not looking to repeat a similar mistake, she's looking to get a chance for gold, looking to defeat the one and only Sonya Evans. It's not going to be an easy task though, I mean, to be granted, to, to be honest, TBA even never had the best record, but Sonya Evans defeated Akita Tarashi. That does not come easy. And here comes Sonia Evans, the leader of TBE, not accompanied right now by either um, by either of her fellow TBE members, Suzuki Snow and Kyoko Rami, both absent from tonight. Although I do find that weird, um, because you know Holly, I understand why Holly Queen is not assisted by Kaylin because Kaylin was in a match earlier, and she won. But still. It's going to be an incredible match between these two women. 
It's not going to be the last women's match of this half of the card or even of the night. But still, let's focus on this one. It's going to be good. Here we go to meeting in the middle. And Holly immediately scooping Sonya up for a big takedown. And stomping on the arm. Good work there from Holly Queen to work on the limbs. She has a lot of really good limb stretching, t uh, lip limb stretching submissions. Very technical. She ducks under that clothesline. And good. Good double leg takedown. They're looking for the triangle. But Sonya managed to roll out. I understand that Sonya's actually been doing a fair bit of training. And I think this is the most psyched up she's been for a match for a while. Good counter there. Good counter from Holly. Oh, massive clothesline right to the stomach. Caused Holly to fall on her face. Guys are from Holly with a kick. And a massive clothesline off her own, rolling through, landing on her feet. Just to show off and punctuate the point. Oh, I rake by Sonya. Went for the kick to the stomach. But Holly counted the uh, quarter. Oh, drop toe hold by Sonya. Sonya's had a lot of counters to a lot of Holly's moves so far. And massive vertical suplex there. Good height on that. Ever Holly. Very, very angry now with that massive shoulder tackle. And the big clothesline. Pressing the knee against Holly's face. Keeping her corners. Holly with the counter jawbreaker though. Into the corner goes Sonia. And the knee. Sonia manages to break out, went for a clothesline but missed. Holly looking to punish her and make her pay for it now. Thrown over the top. And Holly joining her. Neither person grabbing a weapon at the moment though. Or drops a hold by Sonia. And now, oh my god, a, a dude buster. Beginning for the pen. One? No, just a one. Sonia putting Holly so light laying her on the ropes across the umbilical. Oh, the knees! One. No, oh, just a one count. Queen looking for the real stretch though. But, oh, good maneuver there from Sonya to get out of it. And the stomps to the hand. Vicious work from Sonya Evans. Hurricane Rana from Holly. And now, oh my god, looking for the Queen's crown. That could well be it. One, two, no. Holly with a school girl. One, two. 
Holly staying in control over Sonia right now. Oh, good counter elbow by Sonia. And now that oh, the knees right to the back of the arm. A close line and another one and Sonia Evans picking up a lot of steam calf kick. Now knocks to the outside. Is Sonia gonna be the first to go for a weapon in this match? Not right now. Kicks away by Holly. They're looking for another roll stretch though. It doesn't matter if Sonya taps on the outside, it has to be in the ring. He does tap though. It's not my... No. Look at her cut on mutilator. But Sonya manages to escape. Holly staying on Sonya though. Has it lifted up and dumps her on the barricade. It's a lot of pain. A lot of pain. That was the bow down. Um, the cattle mutilation by Holly. My bad. Now, Sonya's knocked to the outside into the crowd. Holly gets back into the ring. Sonya giving up the opportunity to recover and go back in. Good arm wrenching slam there from Holly. Now into the pen. One, two, just a two count. Now looking for that big, that big lifting takedown. And now. Another dude buster. Now looking for the woman's plight. And that could be it. One, two, no. <laughs> How Holly managed to kick out of that, I do not know. And a stomp to the stomach by Sonia. Oh, technical difficulties. Anyway, looking for the roll stretch a third time. And that's it, Sonia Evans has been forced to tap. And the Killer Queens will be challenging. For the for the women's championships. There's gotta be one of the better performances that Sonya's put out, especially considering that last time she thought she beat Akita Tureshi. Well Sonya came very, very close. But Holly just a bit too tough. I didn't drop my headset, what? Almost did, but I caught it. Here is your winner, Holly the Queen. Holly Queen celebrating a big victory. The Killer Queens will be challenging the No L train for the Women's Tag Team Championships. At Heat of the Moment 3. And next up, we have our main event of the evening. Carolyn Hale taking on Jessica Scarberry. The current AVW Women's Champion is, is Carolyn Hale.
just Scarberry has a low chance to prove what she's worth. So we're going to see how this goes between these two. I'm looking forward to it. Making her way to the ring from Beijing, China, the ultraviolet women's champion, illustrious Carolyn Hale, champion. And here's your current women's champion, Carolyn Hale, the illustrious one. Now, Caroline Hale has made a big, big name for herself. This is her first women's championship, neither AVW or PPW, but she's looking to hold on to it for a very long time. She showed no mercy to Motor Medicine when she took it from her. Looking to show even less against her opponent, who we're about to see. And here comes Jessica Scarberry, famous actress when she's not wrestling, and she's a hell of a wrestler in her own right too. Now she hasn't done a lot for AVW or PBW, but that doesn't make uh, AVW or PBW, but that doesn't make her any less fun to watch. So we're going to see what she can do in this main event. And if she's able to do something in pop and beat someone like Carolyn Hale. Here we go, main event time. And Carolyn! Instantly going for it. But Jessica Scarberry making her read those words. Picks up Hale, went for a went for a bulldog maybe or a snapmare. Good counter. Scarberry taking it to Carolyn Hale right now. Nitro drop kick. Good counter by Carolyn. And the drop kick to the apron, taking some of the wind 
out of Carolyn Sales. And Jessica Scarberry. Oh, caught with the back fist though. Slam face first onto the apron. And now double arm neck breaker, straight jacket neck breaker by Carolyn Hill. And Scarberry with the elbow and the upcut there. Going to the corner. Oh, drop kick from Carolyn Hale. And oh my god, first off, first part of that suplex. Scarberry's leg was caught on the rope. Added a bit more whiplash, a bit more impact. Now, Carolyn. But that stretch jacket neck breaker once again. Really taking it to Scarberry right now. Scarberry. Cancer headbutt. Oh, good catch though. Good elbow by Hale. But no caught into that massive face buster. One. No. Just a one count. Falcon Arrow, Michinoku Driver. Now the foot to the throat, disrespecting Caroline Hale. Now looking for a, uh, ooh, camel clutch, I think, modified version. Doesn't fully have the hands around the face, but still does a lot of damage to the cheeks. But Hale with the escape. And oh, dumped. Stun gun. Right to the rope. And slamming that arm on the mat. Carolyn Hale. Gets behind Scarberry into the back suplex and a German suplex. And looking to end it. The three amigos. The siren song. That could well be it. One, two, three. Carolyn Hale able to put away Scarberry. No surprise Here's there. Your winner, illustrious. Oh god, Kate Dreshi. Running down to the ring. That's the number one contender for the championship. And oh my god. Looking to end it with the bloody nightmare. Akita sending a loud and clear message to Carolyn Hale. And ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the AVW portion. I will see you in a few moments for PBW. Hang around, see you in a few.